Impulse is a force applied over a short period of time by over a short period of time. So to determine the response of a single degree freedom system to an impulse, first uh, let's consider the system mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx equals f of t. Now according to Newton's second law, um, impulse causes a change in linear momentum as mv1 plus m impulse equals mv2. Now our impulse here is a force of magnitude f and applied over a period of time delta tau. Assuming that we start from initial conditions that are zero so assume zero initial conditions then mv1 is zero so we have zero plus our impulse is f times delta tau is equal to m v2 now the response of the system after the impulse is applied as of the impulse there are no forces and the response is basically free vibration so for underground system or something like this now Assuming that delta tau is so small that this point, the response start point, is almost zero. So I will consider this point as the initial condition point for the start of motion due to the impulse, and I will assume that as zero. So that makes the initial conditions after the impulse initial conditions after the application of the impulse x0 which is of course due to the very very short delta tau x will not change it will be 0 and the velocity v0 is actually v2 so v0 is the impulse f delta tau divided by m now after the impulse ends I have free vibration and I know that the free vibration of a single degree freedom system the response is x of t is e to the power negative zeta omega m t times x zero cosine omega d t plus v zero plus x zero zeta omega m divided by omega d sine omega d 
T. So now that the initial conditions are x0 is 0, then this term is 0, and this term in the numerator is 0. So I will end up with just e to the power negative zeta omega n t times v0 divided by omega d times sine omega d t. Now, if v0 is the initial condition determined here from the impulse, then I can write this also as P times E to negative zeta omega n T divided by M omega D sine omega D T where P is the impulse F times delta tau. So for any impulse input to a single degree freedom system in this form, the output is the magnitude of the impulse, which is the force times the duration of the force, times this function, and I'm going to call this the impulse response function so you can write this as x of t is equal to the impulse p times h of t where h of t is e to the negative zeta omega m t divided by m omega d sine omega d t now that's for an impulse applied at time t equals zero now what if the impulse is applied at some other time other than zero let's say the impulse was applied at time tau tau for duration of delta tau then I would expect exactly the same response except that the response would be shifted in time in the amount of tau so I have the same response approximately but shifted tau in time so x let's call this x star x star of t is basically the impulse times the impulse function t minus Tau, that's the shift in time or it's P E to negative zeta omega n and the time shift is satisfied by substituting T minus tau for T divided by M um, omega D and then sine omega d t minus tau and that's the response to an impulse applied at any other time other than time equals zero